What's going on everybody? This is Tri-State P71 again. I'm here to give y'all an update on the fire truck. I haven't done an update in a while on YouTube. Uh, I've been posting pretty regular on my updates on my Instagram. So uh, if you wanna give me a follow on my Instagram, that's my Instagram, Tri-State P71. I have debated on making an Instagram for the truck itself. Um, I don't know if I want to or not yet. Y'all let me know in the comments below if I need to make an Instagram for it. Also, let me know in the comments, you wanna see more videos of the truck? Uh, what do you wanna see me do to the truck? What do you not wanna see me do to the truck? But I'm gonna give y'all a little walk around, kind of ins and outs of what I've been doing to it um, and so forth. Uh, so if you like it, drop me a like, let me know. Um, first, we'll start here at the front. I have peeled the old stickers off that were on here before, revealing the paint that was on it uh, when it was new. I have went through with uh, some good cutting compound and some good wax. I gave it a good buff and wax. That paint's uh, real shiny and slick again. Um, we'll start up here in the cab. I have been working to get some of the wiring out of here that was left over from the department. Still some over there I've got to hide and tuck. Um, one of my switches here that controls the vector. That one didn't work before. It was uh, hot and melted. So I got a new one, there's a guy selling some switches on Facebook, so can't even tell it's been replaced. But a problem I've had is some of the wiring that was done on here from the department is just terrible. I'll give you a good example. The wire that was uh, the main power wire that went from the power solenoid up to that switch, uh, it failed. And the reason being, they had two female connectors. Let it focus here. That's right, two female connectors. And they took and kind of trimmed the wires back. You can see where they trimmed them. And then they taped them together. I don't know why, but that's what they done. So I fixed that. Um, I've got some axes added to it now. I got a different fire extinguisher, one that looks more appropriate on the truck. Last video I made, I, I tried to give you a shot of the motor. It is a Cummins 400 Big Cam. Um, it's a non-turbo model, but still has plenty of power. I have also added a uh, pair of air packs. Hopefully in the future, I plan to have um, a set of turnouts to go with each to make it look like it's still in service. I haven't messed with the pump lately. Um, I know the department told me it's supposed to work. I haven't tried to turn it on or anything because I don't want to risk hurting the pump without water. Um, I've I, I don't I don't know where I can hook onto it. I just don't think it's a good idea to go just find a hydrant and hook to it. Something tells me that's illegal. I don't want to find out. I really don't want to go to jail. We'll come around back. I have replaced the old lights that were up there. Before that one up there was taped up and cracked and busted. So I've got two brand new ones. I have put my hose tarp back on. And it's gonna be hard to see have added hoses i'm slowly getting all the hoses back put on it i've also got a ladder put on it so that fills up the void that was there before um let y'all take a look at the pump uh system definitely a lot going on in there got a bird nest over there I'm gonna have to do something about that. I don't know why a mockingbird thought it needed to live there, but whatever, I guess. Get a shot of the other side of the engine here. Other air pack. Got my other axis here. Um, in the near future, I've got to get some tires put on it. Uh, these have the 1020 tires with the two-piece wheel. Anything, anybody that knows anything about these knows how dangerous they are. Um, I found a guy that sells these tires for $125 a piece, but I'd really like to go to standard 22.5s, kind of like semi-tires, semi-wheels. A lot easier to find them. They're not as dangerous. I can go ahead and do it on the front because it uh, don't have the wedge-style wheels like these are. So I don't know if I want to just put a regular set of 10 120s on it or if I'm going to do an axle conversion. It just depends on how much it costs. I'm sure it's expensive because when you get into big stuff like this, it's money, money, money. 
I will come over here. Did wax the interior of it as well. Got a nice little shine going to it. Um, I put a little scanner in here because it come with these speakers uh, that was already in it. And I thought, hey, if I'm gonna take it to car shows and stuff, why not have it play and in the background adds to it. Um, if you ever wanna buy a fire truck, do it. This thing is so much fun. Uh, the looks and the reactions I get, especially in a small town like I live in. Um, I've been to car shows with it, uh, just driving around town and whatnot. I've had people come up and tell me they used to be firemen with this department and the stories they have for it are great. The looks on people's faces is great. It's just all around makes people happy, so why not? Uh, in my last video, I told y'all I had the aerodynamic on the roof and I had a vector to replace it. I have since put the vector on. I do have a cover that goes on it because those domes are in excellent condition, so I wanna keep them that way. And this Alabama sun is just brutal on light bars or anything for that fact. Um, I didn't really wanna drill a hole where that light bar cord is, so I just left it like it is. You can't see it from the ground. It's not hurting nothing, so I just left it like it is. But uh, so far, that's that's all I've got done to it. I'll uh, I'll crank up the lights. Let y'all take a look at those. The uh, Vector has the two slow rotators on the ends. Uh, next in would be the wigwags, and then the middle three are your fast rotators. Come around to the back, check out the new beacons. I bought these and I thought I had a pair of two fast rotating ones, but apparently one's fast and one's slow. That's okay. They're a lot better than what was on there before. I like them. I think they look good. I'll go up here and I'll get y'all a nice aerial shot. Just think vectors are right at home on top of a fire truck. I know it's not appropriate for this truck because it did come with a... Um, just a single beacon on the roof, but man, them vectors just look beautiful on top of a fire truck. <clears throat> That's the updates I've got done to it so far. Um, I still got some other little odds and ends I want to get done to it soon, hopefully. Like I said before, guys, uh, you can check out my Instagram. That's where I post regular. Or if you want to see uh, other stuff I've done to the truck as well, uh, maybe I start a Instagram just for the truck. If y'all want to see me do other things to the truck, like I said before, just uh, let me know in the comments before, below. If you like the truck, give me a like. Show me some love, guys. Crank it up, let you hear it. Might even put a little cue in there with it. Cranks up every time. I've also uh, forgot to mention, I'm sure you've seen it on my Instagram if you follow me there. I found a 1959 license plate to put on it. That's just a little, other little, like I said, a little odd end stuff I've been doing small stuff, lights, uh, ladder, plate. It's definitely a work in progress. Uh, each and every day, I just love it more and more. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Like I said, drop me a like. Let me know what you wanna see. Let me know what you don't wanna see. Let me know what you like.
maybe I can uh, get something else going with it. <laughs>